Dave, in order to be uh, present at the renaming of a local Niagara Falls stadium after resident uh, Sal Magley, some of the barber's friends had to endure an acute case of bus lag, as Bob Koshinsky explains. This unique trip begins outside a popular tavern in Niagara Falls, the Fazio Stadium Grill. And it concludes just across the street in Sal Magley Stadium. The occasion is a special one because tonight the stadium is being dedicated in honor of Sal the Barber Magley. Sal Magley was born in Niagara Falls in 1917 and went on to pitch 10 years in the majors. He picked up 119 wins in his colorful career and was the only major leaguer to play for all three New York City teams. Tonight, Sal and his wife will join this happy entourage of baseball fans and local dignitaries. Together, they'll travel just two-tenths of a mile to take part in dedication ceremonies in the stadium. All of this takes place before a New York Penn League game between the local Niagara Falls White Sox and the Newark Orioles. The travelers prepared themselves for the long journey, and then it was time to board. Excitement filled the air as young and old piled on, filling the bus to capacity. At last, we're off. Once inside, it was time for the presentation. And we share in Sal's pride in that by being proud of a local boy who made good. And good for Niagara Falls is good for Sal Magley. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm very thrilled because uh, I was born here and I lived here for quite some time. And the people have always been great here. And I played ball in this diamond a long time ago. In fact, before Catcher Buffalo Adam signed me up in 1938, and, and I was the first one to be under the lights here, Number too. So I feel like I, I, I own it, and I'm very thrilled, my family is too. It's hard to say whether tonight's bus ride was actually the shortest in baseball history, since no one's ever bothered to document such a trip. But I'm certain that there's been few with a nicer ending. In Niagara Falls, this is Bob Kaczynski for ESPN Sports. Well, uh, next week, uh, we'll be taking a bus ride into the All-Star Game. Uh, that's coming up in a couple of weeks, the baseball All-Star Game. Uh, the anniversary of the Babe Ruth business 50 years ago. We'll be talking about our, our All-Star teams. That's something to keep your eyes out for when we come back next week. It was 10 years ago that a much younger and, yes, even thinner Bob Kaczynski opened what has since been billed as the world's shortest baseball bus excursion story. Now that piece featured a bus ride from DeFazio Stadium Grill across the street to what was then known as Hyde Park Stadium. It was a special night because Sal the Barber Magley, Niagara Falls most famous major leaguer, had the stadium dedicated in his name. I'm very thrilled because uh, I was born here and I lived here for quite some time and the people have always been great here. And I played ball in this diamond a long time ago. In fact, before Catcher Buffalo Adam signed Adam me up in 1938, Mike and I was the first one to be under the lights here, Number too. So I feel like I, I, I own it, and I'm very thrilled. My family is, too. That was 10 years ago. Sal Magley's no longer with us. But tonight, we are going to reenact that very same baseball bus excursion. The bus will leave DeFazio Stadium Grill, which we're right across the street from Sal Magley Stadium. It takes us about a minute to make the cross, depending on the light and we'll pull inside the stadium for a rededication of Sal Magley Stadium with dignitaries on hand. Ron DeFazio still owns and operates the stadium grill and has fond memories of the original bus excursion a decade ago. We just rode over, we had a, a, a bus full of people and, and the thing that, that made it really nice was that's, night, that's the night they changed the name of the stadium from Hyde Park Stadium to Sal Magley Stadium, the dedication, uh, all the city fathers were there and it, it was just a night that I won't forget, and I know most of the guys that come in here, they, they still talk about it. 
the Niagara Falls White Sox didn't draw like the Rapids draw. I mean, it, back then, it, 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 well, I can remember riding around that track and uh, there just weren't too many fans in, up in the stands, but the bus was almost full. And, and I think at the time there was like 40, 45 people on the bus, but you talk about it today and you, you would think there was 2,500 on that bus. Everybody seemed to be there. It was now just moments before game time, and as the crowd grew in the stadium, the designated bus passengers loaded up across the street ready for the unique trip. It was a mixed bag of fans, patrons, and politicians. Okay, we're all set. We're ready to go. We're ready. You guys ready, huh? Let's go. All right, all right. Ten years later, let's try it again. Let's see if we make the light. Bus driver. Okay, now this is tricky because you got to catch the green light here. It's green right now. We should have had somebody stand out and block traffic. Yeah, where's our wander when you need him? Well, we got a green light. Guys, we're going to make good time. All right. World's shortest baseball bus excursion. We got the clock running right now. We're up to 18 seconds. We're, we're much quicker than the year we used John Dandy, stadium operation director. Niagara Falls Rapids, a crowd waiting our arrival. We have a host of dignitaries assembled on the bus. Now here's the key, we got a lot of foreign sports cars here. It's all right, Marta Koshevsky from the Bison owns this car. You can take off the back bumper right here, that's no problem. We see Sean Riley, uh, general manager and director of operations out here. And now he's shaking his head because somebody from the Bison's blocked our way. We have uh, State Senator Tony Masiello uh, with us. Tony, this is, uh, I guess you could compare this to athletics. There's always, just when you think the going's good, I'm telling you, it's like being in a ball game. You're getting ready to get out of the locker room. All the juices are flowing. You really want to get out there, and all of a sudden, the door's locked. Door's you locked. can't get out there, and you leave your game in the gym. Right, Coach? Right. That ever happened to you, Canisius? Absolutely not. The door is always open. Always open. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right. Disaster uh, averted. And now we're getting the thumbs up sign. As we enter the stadium, I see Bison General Manager Mike Bellani eating a box of popcorn, saying, what, me worry? Checking the watch. Okay, you can, uh, you can stop right here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike, Mike, we, we were blocked, our way was blocked by a car. Marta Koshevsky parked the vehicle right by the doorway there. Uh, we will have her towed, we'll have her ticketed, and she'll be thrown out of here, but you are late. The crowd of over 3,000 then watched on as the stadium was rededicated to Niagara's most famous hurler. Mayor Jake Palillo echoed the words that had originally been heard some 10 years prior. This will always be known as the Barber's Backyard. We rededicate this stadium in its memory and ask each and every one of you to bow your heads in a moment of silence in the memory of one of our own, the great Sal Magley. You're looking at the barber's chair and of course Sal was known as the barber uh, a lot of um, a lot of myth a lot of lore as to why they called Sal the barber some said it was because he pitched close to the chin some said it was because he had a day's growth before he pitched of course uh, there's a story about him being referred to as the barber on the third chair uh, whatever the reason it stuck Sal the barber and this is a permanent fixture here at Sal Magley Stadium donated by Bucky's Barbershop, uh, Angelo Bucky Yotis, who was a big fan of Sal's and the Yankees, uh, who has a very famous barbershop here. Uh, Bucky has passed away as well, but uh, some great names, some great association with Sal the Barber Magley here at the stadium. Uh, it's only fitting and suitable that probably uh, one of the best, or the best that came out of the city, baseball-wise, has some kind of remembrance of the people of the city. Uh, Sal loved this city. I know uh, Uncle Sal loved this city, and it's a really a great tribute for him. Do you think Niagara Falls would have lost a little bit if the stadium was just named High Park Stadium? Yeah, I, I really do. Uh, if, if you were at the first pitch luncheon today, you knew that Sal Magley knew that the Rapids were here and it was his stadium, named after him, and, and it was, it's great. It really is. We decided to dedicate the season to Sal Magley. We talked to Mrs. Magley. And for every shirt that we sell, we're giving a proceed to a charity of her choice. Uh, it's, it's the least we could do. So it was 10 years later. Sal was not on the bus, unfortunately. But it was a rededication, a very special night for the city of Niagara Falls. 
This piece won't run on ESPN. More importantly, it was on Empire Sports. As the city of Niagara Falls reenacted one of its most memorable moments. We'll be back to say goodnight for Not Just Sports right after this.